So it's Oliver versus a uh, 911 GT3 RS, an Aventador, and a Mosler. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It is officially another season, another week. Uh, what? It is officially another week, which means another season is on the horizon. Look at those words. There are some brand new cars in the game today. I wanted to check them out. Let's see what we got, boys. Forza-thon shop for this week. There's actually some pretty cool stuff. Like, we've got, like, the ski hat and the fluffy boots and stuff. Pretty cool. However, we've got the Hummer H1 and a Forza Edition Bentley. Why is that 600 Forza Thon points and that's 450? When this game came out, they were like less than half the price. The car pass for this week is actually kind of decent, I must say. I mean, on the surface, you would look at and be like, those are both really bad and really boring cars. However, both of these are very interesting in their own right. I wanted to start it off with this thing. The Opal Cadet, which you might remember way, way back in the Top Gear days because you might remember it being, this is actually Oliver. I mean, sure, stock, it's it's not the most interesting thing with its 46 horsepower. I, I'm just saying, I think I've got more than 46 horsepower, but you could swap in a, a, a straight four. Another straight four or another straight four. Look at that. Th thanks to everybody in Twitch chat who's saying to use the i4. You're all fantastic people. Everybody in chat is yelling at me to leave this car completely stock. I'm just gonna go and get a paint job. One that's more of the correct color because mine's a little off, I will admit. So welcome back. This is Oliver with his, what was it? 46 horsepower. It's not the most exciting car out there. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we need to figure out if Oliver can do it. Let's go. Cross fingers. Do you float? Float. Flop. Doesn't work. I think we need to go and take you to a little race course. See what you got. See what you can do. Oliver is the greatest car in this game of all time. Richard Hammond said it, so it must be true. So it's Oliver versus a... Uh, 911 GT3 RS, an Aventador, and a Mosler. All of those cars have over a thousand horsepower. It's a good thing Oliver's a fast boy. All right, Oliver. And... <laughs> Can we try again, lads? I, I stalled. Are you ready, lads? Oh my god, the Mosler is so much slower than us. We're pulling away from a Mosler and a Lamborghini. You're having a laugh. This is absolutely amazing. I told you that it was insanely fast. Oh my god, the Lamborghini's coming. Oh, and the, and the Opal Oliver takes it. What a turn of events. Oh my god. Who would have expected that? The Opal Cadet is the fastest car in the goddamn game. Oliver, you are absolutely amazing. Oh, look at that. They're even giving Oliver 180 grand. How sick would it have been if we actually had like a V12 swap for this? It would have been like the least expected thing ever. Would have been amazing. Three laps, Oliver. That's all you got to do. Come on. This is high octane gameplay. Draft. Guys, we can't hit 69. 67 Still si 68 69 miles in it you bitch. Why did you cut me off guys? It actually has trouble going uphill like look 66 and Still 66 and finally we get to the top of the hill and then we start to pick up speed again day two Day three They fall. I legitimately can't even crash the car even if I wanted to. It's too slow to have an accident. Anyway, so uh, so back to the Hillman Imp. This might be a little bit of a deceiving car on the outside. However, it is one of the great- What? We can have the motorbike engine in this car? <laughs> the only other car that I know that goes into, I think, is the Peel and the Isetta. Didn't know that was available for this, but we're gonna go with the Turbo Rally engine because- we like that horsepower. We've also got a body kit for the thing. Because, I mean, when you've got 56 horsepower stock, why, 
Why wouldn't you want to wide body it? <laughs> we're also gonna make it all wheel drive. We're gonna we're gonna make this thing fast. Look at all these body mods we got. We got the rally lights. We got everything. Wow, you can actually make this thing into a dope ass rally car. Ah, get rid of those bumpers, side skirts. We got the rally, rally little uh, mud flaps on there. And then this is when things get very cool. You could swap this, which is pretty normal. Like, we've got a normal little hood scoop. Pretty, pretty standard. However, this is gonna be one of my favorite cars in this game, and this is gonna be the reason you're gonna see this car come up a lot. It is a police car in the game. Finally got another police car in the game. I am so, so happy with that. How cool. We're chucking on the snow tires. We are going to be the rally police today, boys. That single cop light. Yeah, don't ask me about the cop light. I don't know what they were thinking in the 60s, but apparently that's all you needed to pull someone over. You just needed a light and a thing that says police on it. That's a sad police light, but it's still cool. I'm just saying, this is the perfect cop car if we want to do, like, a, a legit 60s recreation cop chase. Spoilers, we are gonna do. Oh my god. We can make the Hillman Imp so fast if we remove everything. We're nearly S2 class in this. We've got, uh, we've got 680, 670 horsepower. We weigh 1,500 pounds. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that what you expect out of the Horizon PD? Officer disappointment is what I should be called. <laughs> wait, when did that little air intake on the rear that, wait, that is, what? Why does my car have a, wait. It has two? Doesn't have them on this side. Why does my car have two holes in it? I guess I guess that's just British Leyland build quality for you. I guess that's what you got to expect. It's for rallying downforce. You can't tell me it's downforce if it's just on one side like that. We're just gonna be turning to the right the entire time. Air channeling. Isn't this car front engine? Nope. Never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. It's for cooling. So the Hillman Imp. Or the limp imp. <laughs> we need to go on a police pursuit today. I think we need to show off that our car is faster than everybody else's car with a little bit of a race. If we want to show people that speeding is bad, then we've got to beat them in a race and show them that there's no point in running because we're just faster. All right, none of you are faster than- wait, wait. We've turned up to a JAG convention. What the hell? We're just gonna be taking out a bunch of jet- Out of the way! Plebeian! Pull over in the name of the police! Sorry. Okay, the Hillman Imp is kind of difficult to control. It's such a short wheelbase. It's a tiny little car. I'm just saying, it's not a very attractive name for a car. Sure, what, what do you drive? Oh, I drive the Imp. You can, you can definitely tell why Hillman doesn't exist anymore as a company. I think I've found problem numero uno. I mean, to be fair, I say that. If mine said police on the top with a silly little light like this, I, I, I'd buy one. Coming through, coming in hot. Bro. Okay, it, it literally is just a JAG convention. We've overtaken all of the, sorry. Oh my God. We're racing a guy named Ollie. What a series of events today has been. Okay, I will say there's also a massive design flaw. It is a little difficult to use your horn and look around. Let's go. Yes. Loser. The cops have taken out the baddies. And we're away. Don't hit the tree. What an insane little rally car this is, though. Like, damn. Who would have expected this? This thing is ridiculous. It launches like nothing else and it just go, it's so light. Don't try to overtake me with one corner left. The police is faster than you. I was not expecting it to actually be such a good rally car. Like obviously when a car is a bunch of rally upgrades like this one does, you sort of go, okay, I see the direction they want you to like put it in. How well can you jump? You are super light. You should actually jump quite well. Not bad. It just doesn't have that much horsepower. I mean, 700 horsepower for a car that weighs 1,500 pounds is stupid. So today, what we've realized is we've gotten one of the best cars in Forza Horizon 4 history with Oliver. And we've also got the new coolest police car, which we are definitely going to use 
for some very, very cool old retro cop police chases. I don't know how we're going to do it or what exactly we're going to do, but I got some very, very cool ideas. And you guys will not want to miss it. I don't know exactly when it's going to be happening, but make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. It's going to be dope.